So we're having a quick swim before we sail to Crete. The Maltimi's blowing over the next, oh, well, a week. It could even be to 10 days. And we've got to, in three weeks, get to Tunisia. Uh, the Maltimi's a northerly, northwesterly wind that blows right through the Cyclades Islands. We need to get to Crete before uh, it kicks in in a big Wish way. I could go back to the day when it was only night that made me afraid. When it was only lions and tigers, but now it's heartaches and liars and wondering just what does the future hold? Cause I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I stand out by the ocean It makes me notice there is something so much bigger than me Keep trying to come up with the answers I still don't know if I can figure it out But in a life made up of moments we want to do Where's the motor for two hours? Because the wind didn't come where we wanted it to And uh, now we've just had to sort of steer down towards roads Losing a little bit of time And uh, we're going to sort of tack our way around a few islands we're tossing up whether we're actually going to stay the night at an outer island on roads because this Maltimi hasn't kicked in yet. Uh, but, you know, the, the, the toss up is if we stay the night and it comes in in the middle of the night and then it's just a really rough day tomorrow. So a safer option would just be to sail all through the night, but then it's not good to sail through the night. So what do you do? What's that? I'm eating. Yep, I know you're eating. Why are we floating in a bay when we're supposed to be sailing at night? Well, it turns out the wind is directly coming towards us, which isn't supposed to be doing. So we thought we'd stop for dinner. Now we're debating whether or not we just stay for the night and wait till the wind shifts more to the north so we can actually sail to creep in a straight line. And uh, tell us tell us all about Crete. Crete was... It's a really special island for the ancient Greeks because Zeus, well, had two children with a girl from Earth. And Hera, his wife, was upset, obviously, because, and she has this thing when Zeus goes and has a baby with um, a person from Earth, she gets really angry and tries to kill him in the most painful way possible. So she said, you're not, she cursed this lovely lady, obviously, and said, you are not allowed to have your child on earth. You will be pregnant and be in labor for the rest of your life until you die of pain. And that's a pretty awful way to go. So this lady had to figure something out and she went to Crete which back in the day was said to be a floating island that didn't have roots in the ground and floated. And I'm guessing that's because it was so far away from the rest of Greece that most sailors didn't find it. So they thought it floated around. And she was allowed to have her babies on Crete. And that was where the god Apollo and Ar Artemis? Artemis? Yeah, Artemis. Artemis came from. And they became gods cool so that's the story so, of crete so we're gonna go sail to the um floating island <laughs> the floating island of kratos where does the tether go what are you doing honey trying to figure out how to work an mob device which stands so for what is a man overboard device Man overboard, M O B. How's it work? That's a little sucker there. Okay, so what happens is these life jackets, um, they inflate when they hit the water, either automatically or manually. This is a manual one. We've got a couple of automatic ones, but the idea is when this gets inflated, it means you're in the water. It means you're overboard, and the pressure of the inflation sets off this device, which sends a signal to the boat to let the boat know where you are so hopefully you never get a man lost at sea hmm so essentially on my little sucker um i've got a self-inflating one um it'll just go off automatically and this little arm it's armed it's down 
the whole thing will expand and it'll pop off pop off this little black tape it'll pull on that and it'll set off this um, man overboard device after setting it off our AIS on our GPS will like flick where I am and Jazz will turn the boat around and go and rescue Josh because uh, it's normally the captain that goes overboard I guess because I'm doing crazy stuff Morning. we had a good night's sleep we were meant to be sailing all through the night and we were meant to be in Crete right now before we left we made a passage plan we sent it as you should do to some family members and said if we're not in Crete by now uh, call the Coast Guard and so we've got a little bit of a problem we don't have any internet and we can't get in touch with them we certainly don't want the Coast Guard looking for us so we've, we've seen this little town we're gonna cruise in use some free internet and uh, also check out some weather. All right, we're here. Uh, we're hoping that they don't check our papers because technically we're illegal immigrants. Haven't checked into Greece yet. Uh, and let's go find a Wi-Fi place. Ready? What do you mean by yeah, Mrs. look how pretty this is. I'd actually like to stay here. Did you know you're an illegal immigrant? Shh. So we've got our Wi-Fi, now we can check out a weather report and uh, get to where we need to go. It seems like the storm that we were kind of trying to avoid is not really coming. Told mum and dad not to call the Coast Guard. Yeah, we managed to get hold of Barb and Bry, so they don't panic, that's good. Now Josh will sleep well at night, he's a bit worried. And yeah, so hopefully it'll be a nice couple of days. Some island hopping. In fact, we might not have enough which can also be annoying. We thought we thought you're on board. I'm looking to find a Greek wife. We thought we'll come and get you. We left Jez ashore. But we can pick her up. It's okay. Get ready to jump. We told you to come and you didn't. We decided that surely we can get another mummy. Jump. <laughs> <laughs> that was scary. That is precision. <laughs> I just wanna feel the vibe with you. I just wanna end the night with your show. It's the bit of time, get away from all. Finally enough, I'm upright. <laughs> just found something to rest against when we're on the lane. So, boats come with these cool little steps on the side. So that you can walk out to be little. What are we making? A food on passage. I don't even know what these are. Oh, look at them, they're incredible. Massive, like, real thin pizzas. We picked them up in Turkey. We got, like, strands of mozzarella. That's how they did that. Is it in Turkey or yep. Greece? Homemade, uh, homemade. And some homemade chili sauce. Tomato Pretty base. simple. Got the gimbal on the oven. So we're just gonna, no, it's Ooh. a shame. I guess it's meant to go into a big pizza oven, but we're just gonna throw it in here. So we have to chop it up a little bit and get it, get it on this side. You're gonna fold it up like a calzone, right? Oh, should I do that? Yeah. Just gonna fold it up like this. Folding, folding. 
Folding. Folding. And that sucker's going to go in the oven. Cushions went everywhere. Bit of a mess. We did try and make it ship shape. We had all the reefs in. We took our Genoa in, which is the foresail, and it was still about scary. So we've ended up taking the main down too, and now we are just motoring, trying to find a safe harbour for the night. And I don't think we're going to set off tomorrow like we thought because the forecast is to get worse for the next couple of days. So. I think we're going to wait it out and then try and head to Crete on Saturday when it's a little bit calmer. Because it's not much fun, is it, Naomi? <laughs> 